I'm gonna rate Novak Djokovic backhand in detail. We very often hear that a player has a good forehand or a bad backhand. Well, that's very simple. And I would say that it's even too simple as a statement. And that's why I decided to break down the shots of the champions in many different abilities and rate them for you. The first one to start with is Novak Djokovic backhand, which is clearly a master shot. Ability to change direction. I give him 10 out of 10. Novak is very comfortable directing his backhand cross court as much as down the line, and he can decide to do it anytime on any type of ball. He actually loves to change direction and put his opponent on the run constantly. Accuracy, nine out of 10. Novak's backhand is deadly accurate. He plays deep and very close to the sidelines. Change of pace. 8 out of 10. The Serb can slice his backhand with efficiency, but he can also play higher when he decides to slow down the pace. I give him only 8 because he's a player who likes rhythm and he likes when all the balls are played at the same pace. Counter punching. That's a 10 out of 10. Nolles backhand is the best when it has to deal with pace. He can play at any speed without ever being late thanks to his early preparation and his very flexible wrists that can always compensate when needed. He actually loves when the ball comes very fast because he translates the speed of the opponent's ball into the speed of his. Ball heaviness, only 6 out of 10. That's actually his worst grade. Because Novak's backhand is flat, his ball is quite comfortable to hit. He doesn't use a lot of spin, which would make his ball hard to control. And all the players who have played with him, all the hitting partners have always reported that it's very comfortable to play with Novak in terms of quality of ball. Generating pace, I give him a seven out of 10. As great as he is to use the opponent's pace, Joko is not the best at creating pace himself with his backhand. His straight arms in preparation are ideal to counter punch, but not to create pace when the opponent doesn't give any. Movement on the backhand, that's 10 out of 10. Not only his movement on the backhand side is incredible, but also his balance is so great that he can hit a winner even when totally thrown out of the court, like the famous passing shot in Wimbledon on the running backhand. Solid under stress, eight out of 10. Novak's backhand is very stable. His technique is very clean. That is why he resists so well under pressure. But if something has to crack under pressure, it would probably be his backhand. Due to the fact that it is a very direct shot with little spin, which means less margin for error. Passing shots and lob, seven out of 10. Nole has a very good backhand passing shot thanks to his touch and his accuracy. He doesn't have the best grade only because he's not fully aggressive on those shots. Other players, would hit full power on those, and sometimes even they would aim straight at the opponent. Regarding the lob, the Serb has a great touch lob, but his top spin lob is not a top one, and he barely uses it. Touch, 10 out of 10. Nole has exceptional hands. He loves running on a drop shot because he knows he's great at these little games. He's also a drop shot master, especially on the backhand side. His total grade on the backhand, 85 out of 100. Now you understand better why it doesn't make sense to say someone has a good forehand or a bad forehand, a good backhand or a bad backhand. Tennis is too complex for that and the shots are good in certain situations, in certain abilities, but not necessarily in all abilities. There is no shot good in every ability at the top. So now Novak has 85 out of 100 and I think most of the people, including me, think that his backhand is a masterclass shot. So it might be surprising for you that he has only 85 out of 100, but 85 is huge. You might have a different opinion because of course, it's not science, it's an opinion on every ability on Novak's shot. So if you have a different opinion, feel free to comment, give me your grades and give me your explanations for them.